Alright, try and do this multiple times, this might work. Right, now I'm gonna back off. Oh, come on! How did I not win that? <laughs> How did I not win that? Come on. I put up an impressive display of fisticuffs there, and it didn't even, didn't even make a dent. Oh. oh well, it will happen, it will happen, we will get there, we will, we have to, there's literally no other way. Just gotta keep trying there. Gotta keep going guys, we're almost there. I keep saying it, but we're going to do this. If I was a faster character, I could put them away, but because I'm slower, like he's got the advantage every time, but... I'm trying a bunch of stuff now. Punch him in the balls. I'm gonna try and fold the move. And there we are. Boom, so you do it. Right, we've got the win there somehow. Right. Duck. Stay in the corner and just do this. This might work. Okay, his energy's been chopped down. Come on. We got him. There we go. Bloody hell. I'm so sorry that took a lot longer than necessary, but yeah. Sometimes that's what I've been trying to do originally, but sometimes it won't always work on the higher difficulty settings. Like... Bullrock has a moment where he's pretty much almost invincible. Yeah, and as I said, this barrel thing, I just... I'm more interested in just the fights now. Getting through, and... Now i put him away, I've only got three more bosses to go. It's been really tough today, guys, so... Um... Bloody hell. <laughs> like, oh my god. Intense. So with Borog out of the way, we're going to move on to Spain to face Vega. And once I beat Vega, I'll have to beat Sagat. And then Old Boy see himself, and then hopefully it's a cup of tea time. But I don't want to get too cocky because uh, Vega's difficult if she dials in because you've got the fastest character against one of the slowest characters. So I'm not entirely sure. How this is gonna go, but I just gotta keep going till I do it. Basically, that's all I can do. <laughs> right, I'm gonna just hop in the air and just use a succession of moves. Use the yoga nut there. Hit his bounce. Can use a few tricks here. That's bullshit, by the way. If you hit the R button at the right time. And we got him, there we are. Even Stevens, baby. Even Stevens. We've even the score. Alright, welcome to, uh, once again, to Cheat Fighter 3. <laughs> CPU is really going to take it out on, on me now. Third round. Doesn't like me at all, so... There are a number of things I can do to sort of counter that though, as, as before. So we can just watch out because Vega's going to do his cage dive occasionally. Almost got him, almost got him. Right, we might even get a cheeky pose down, maybe. Alright guys, get ready. Pose down, here we go, pose down. Look at that. We get a pose down, and we're moving on up. That's how you do it, guys. Oh, I got lucky there. God knows how I did that, but... 
Christ. Right, two more opponents now. We have um, Sagat and then M. Bison, and then that's it, guys. We have three the Street Fighter 3 tournament. One reason why Dalsum's good is because you can do this to Sagat. And there you go, see? And Dalsum's generally got the advantage because he can use his long limbs, so you might struggle with some characters, but other characters you'll you'd be alright. Okay, it shouldn't be happening, but can't play cat. Can't play cat is pattern. See how I'm not getting too near him, so he can do his tiger uppercut. It's kind of uh, what you want, really. Good position to be in. All right, guys, final round. Even Stevens now. Come on, I've got him. We got him. There you go, guys. And Sagat goes down. You win. That's how you do it. Right, so, with Sagat out of the way, we can move on to Big Daddy B and Bison. Oh my god, it's been a long, difficult climb. I've been on this so long, guys, I'm beginning to lose it. But we made it to M. Bison at last. So let's see if I can put him away. Oh god. I need to get my uh, mojo. So, the rhythm of the fight, because I can't... It's been so long since I played as a Dalsim on M. Bison, I can't remember the... Uh, Thing. So I, I believe it might be the punches, but I could be wrong. Okay, right, that's good. So I don't mind losing a few matches here just to kind of, you know, get me used to it again. So trying to beat Bison in the thousand is like, oh. It's difficult at best. This is why some people choose Ken or Ryu because you know you can easily take him down. But I do like a challenge, I suppose. So it's kind of why I do this. Oh god, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this. I think I've got the rhythm of it now. There we go, right, okay, brilliant. So, I've got, I think I've got the rhythm, the groove of it now, so I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I think, I always worry when he starts to do those multiple kicks, because often it means I'm not going to win. So, I'll get, I have, I have got lucky before. God, he's not letting me do anything now, see? See, when he, when he does those kicks at the beginning, I generally don't know. I generally know that I'm not going to do it, so, you know. Alright, round three. Just, he jumps. He just won't stop jumping. I'll just beat him. Come on. Come on. Come on, go, go. 
Come on. There you go, guys. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, 7 stars, done with that. And pad thump, thump that pad into the table, and finally it's over. Oh, it's taken me nearly two hours to do this, but it's done. Here we go. I can finally go home to my family. I've been gone so long. I know how you feel, Dalsy, my old son, but it's done. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Three years later. Put my initials in. Dad, what's that picture? That's your dad in his past life. I'll just win in the old Street Fighter 2 tournament. You know how it is, son. <laughs> Boom. Finally. It's done. That was tricky. And there we go. Number one on the podium. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I had to use a lot of save states to go and have a cup of tea because I'm just done in. It took me at least an hour to beat friggin' I think Blanker and Ken. Um, I think it was about half an hour each, something like that. But um, Bullrog took the biscuit today. So Gap wasn't too bad, but my god. I got through it. Anyway, all that's left to say now is thank you very much. This has been Lucas Macintosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really appreciate it. If you indeed enjoy my content and like to see more, hit that red subscribe button. Subscribe to Dodgers because if you do, not only will you be instantly subscribed, you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new Street Fighter 2 video. And I've got great Street Fighter 2 footage coming at you each and every single week on my YouTube channel. Again, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to give me a like, drop me a comment and share this video and my subsequent videos with everybody that you know. Anybody you think might be interested in this type of retro content, it really helps with YouTube's algorithm, it allows my channel to grow and it means more people can find and access my content on a consistent and easier basis. And your final order of business if you haven't done so already, head on over to Twitter, give me a follow at Dodge This Game to keep up to date for all the latest happenings on my channel. Okay guys, so yeah, very tough run but if I can do it as Dalsim, then you guys can too. So if you're struggling with Dalsim, I I do kind of recommend just persevering. As you can see, his long limbs um, mean that sometimes you can like hit your opponents from a distance. You can see that I struggled with pretty much everybody apart from Sagat. So there are certain opponents where Dalsim will take them down no problem. But yeah. That's another one. Another one bites of dust. Uh, I'm going off now for a nice hot cup of tea uh, and some McVitie's biscuits because that was just absolutely insane. I can't believe I've just got that done today. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's been difficult, uh, frustrating um, as usual. But yeah, it's just one of those things I have to take regular breaks because I'll just go insane otherwise. Um, you can see how spammy the CPU can get as well. Um, on this version but well it's all part of it i mean as, as annoying as it can be it's street fight 2 and there's this great satisfaction in being able to outwit the cpu as well you know because sometimes although i said that you know you might almost win a fight you'll get cocky and the cpu will shut you down well the reverse is true sometimes you think you're not going to win and then you'll take a chance uh, as i did with bison and boom you know, you'll surprise yourself and you'll be able to get through relatively unscathed, I think. So I think that's the key with Street Fighter and trying to enjoy it as well, which isn't easy on these harder difficulty settings because I'm having to really push myself as a player. And as I said, the idea is just to prove that, you know, someone who's like me, who's not very good at the game, can get through, you know what I mean, with my idiosyncratic style. So, there we go. So I think next time, I'll, I might try one of the bosses, I think maybe. Maybe I'll even try and get through his bison and see how that goes. Anyway guys, you take care of yourselves and I will see you next time for some more Street Fighter 2 action. Same Street Fighter time, same Street Fighter channel. I will see you soon.